Father, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. All praises and glory to you, Lord. Miracles and miracles, supernatural miracles. One more you added to glorify the kingdom of God, Father in heaven, Lord. You are revealing the hidden secrets. How you will guide step by step and how you will lead them and how you will shine on each and every one, my Father, who abides to glory for the kingdom of God. Father, even if everything is out of the control situation, still you hold it, my Father. And Lord, you are revealing the hidden secret, my son and daughter. Those who live in the shadow of death, Lord, will restore with salvation, will rise on you to guide and lead you with a victorious path. Lord, with His grace and mercy, has blessed and Lord is revealing the hidden secrets. All praises to you, Lord. All glory to you, Father. Stuti gana mahimi yella ningena panadratana yesu nanadu. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Heaven and earth will pass away. Lord, words will never pass away. Matthew 24, verses 35. Brother and sister, life is beautiful. Dedicate yourself with mind, heart and thought, with justice, honesty and mercy. Listen to the Lord with all the humbleness. And while you are executing with God's creation, be much more with heavenly desires and speak to them and keeps moving forward. Lord's grace will take over. Yes, brother and sister, whatever it may be, you will be free from the destruction and confusion. Those who live in the dark shadow of death will have a life. Jesus will guide you into the peace path. Jesus will open the way to lead them out of exile. Slavery bondage will be broken when you and me listens to the Lord. And today, Lord is revealing how our ancestors abided and how they were successful. Brother and sister, Today, whatever you may be there going through this evening, submit yourself to the Lord Almighty. and You will be victorious. You will live on. Dark shadow will disappear. Lost grace and mercy will take over brother and sister. That is when how Lord restored. Scripture says, Luke 1 verses 78 and 79. Our God is merciful and tender he will cause the bright dawn of salvation to rise on us and to shine from the heaven on all those who live in the dark shadow of death to guide our steps into the path of peace praise the lord praise the lord brother and sister who is telling this zakaria when lord bless john baptized to them as a parent when with all that Zachariah what God could do Zachariah was old Elizabeth was old but Lord removed the public disgrace and Lord blessed the son prophet John who made the way to the Lord brother and sister Zachariah is praising father and even Lord will do because brother and sister testimonial if someone is saying they won't say just like that there is a meaning for that. Praise the Lord. Brother and sister. Lord is merciful, tender, kindness, caring, affection. Beautifully, Lord will restore. Whatever it is in your control or not in your control, Lord will guide you. That in our ancestor, King David, how he was being With the tricks, Absalom took over the kingdom. And when David flew out of Egypt, uh, Israel with the barefoot, along with his men, brother and sister, he left the palace and he was going. But David, what he did, if you and me do, we will be blessed and restored, brother and sister. Absalom told to the David, Father, I want to go 
and give an offering to the Lord in Hebron I am going. David said, go with peace. But Absalom misused the Lord over there, but he leads. There he invites all the men and he already has win the people's heart by all this greediness. And Ahitapol was an advisor for David. He was a wrong person and he also joined. Seeing him, many gathered when the messenger gave a message to David that Absalom has taken over the kingdom. Immediately David says, we should not be here. Let us move out, brother and sister. As a king who was killed, Goliath and always were leading in the path of righteous and never repeated the sin. He has to leave barefoot, cloth on his head, their soul, relative Shami. He was cursing David left and right. You murderer, you criminal, get out, get out. His bodyguards who were there, they're telling him. Why this God, dog is cursing, give us a permission, we'll cut the head. And David with all the humbleness says, If at all God has not given the permission to him, he would have not spoken. Lord will notice this, my misery, and Lord will convert into the blessings. So he says the word. There, Ahitopul, who is the wrong advisors, with all the humbleness, David says, Lord, I diffuse all his advice into nonsense. Brother and sister, that is how the salvation will come. That is how Lord guides over there. And with all the humbleness he was leading, the bright, those times, the bright dawn of salvation, deliverance from harm or any loss, Lord restored brother and sister. Salvation. And to shine from the heaven on all those who live in the dark shadow of death. To guide our steps into the path of peace. David was leading everything in the path of peace, brother and sister. And David said to leave him. Don't even look into this. What he is talking. Shemmi, leave that he was with the peace. Because anyone who abides, anyone who listens to the Lord, anyone is working with the Lord's way. They will never be poor, brother and sister. Our Jesus is merciful, Lord is tender in heart, kindness, caring and affection. Brother and sister, in this, Absalom told lies saying to, I am going to Hebron to give a sacrifice to the Lord. There he is plotting against the David, but David here with a temple equipment, with a humbleness, even curses is receiving it as a blessing. Let Lord is telling, I will not oppose the God. He is going over there. That is how Lord will bless and restore brother and sister. 21 years bondage. Slavery. Lord just removed Jacob's brother and sister. But intention of Jacob was, I need the first, birth, <coughs> first birthright. When his brother Yusuf gave for a red bean soup his temptation and Jacob being a younger brother, he tells, I will give you a red bean soup, but you give me your birthright. He says, what? It is going to help me for a birthright. I am about to die. And that is when uh, brother and sister, when Isu comes to know about that, when he has received the blessings in place of Isu from the Jacob, he will flee to Laban, his uncle's place. He will be there for 21 years. Ten times he changes the wages and with all the greediness, with all the tricks, he will be there. But when Lord said, Jacob, leave this place, go back to your relatives, brother and sister, Jacob, what Lord said immediately, he stepped forward and scripture says, Micah 2 verses 13, God will open the way for them and lead them out to exile they will break out of the city gates and go free. Their king, the Lord himself, will lead them out. Praise the Lord. Lord was leading 
Jacob. And today Lord is telling you what has to be there, brother and sister. Our God is a merciful and tender. He will cause the bright dawn of salvation to rise on us from the heaven. All those who live in the dark shadow of death, he will give guide to the steps of the path of peace. And brother and sister, the path of peace Jacob also had. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Nothing it worked of Laban. But Jacob heard what Lord was telling and he go back to his wife and says, Rachel and Leah, what his father has done and both of them will say, we will stand with you and he will take in confidence in the peace path and he will go. Brother and sister, <clears throat> today whatever you are going through, all the bondages are ending of shadow, of slavery. But Lord is very clearly saying, God will open the way for them. The way David conducted, the way Jacob conducted only for them, not Isu. In name of Lord, he was telling lies. And Laban, being Gentile, he was ruling Jacob as a slave with all this greediness, brother and sister, for them, no. It cannot happen. But J David and Jacob were humble and dedicated themselves to glory for the kingdom of God. Those who follow the steps, when Lord is leading them, guiding them, when Lord is telling them what steps has to be followed, if anyone has followed this, and scripture says, Isaiah 9 verses 2, The people who walked in darkness have seen great light, they lived in the land of shadows, but now light is shining on them. Praise the Lord. The people who walked in the darkness have seen the great light. Yes, David was going through the challenges. Absalom, all he was doing, unhealthy, and people were watching. But David was watching Lord Almighty. Jacob was with all the honesty, he was keep moving. But Laban with all the tricks, but... Jacob dedicated himself, Lord, if at all I return back, you will be my God and I will be your son. With the dedication he goes and the heavenly desires were there, he was keep on moving. The people who walked in the darkness have seen the great light. Today might be you and me, whatever we might be going through, brother and sister. Dedicate yourself. Salvation is for sure. When Lord is guiding you to be in the peaceful path, be with the peaceful path. When Lord is telling you to come out of the slavery, whatever the temptation it is there, you and me should come back. And when Lord is leaving, leading us, we should let go, we should love one another, we should take them, everyone in confidence, but still be focused what has to be there. Where Lord is telling you to go, it may be dangerous, it may be, according to you, everything is standstill, but Lord has a control over there. Same it happened with the Jacob. When he's telling, go back to your relatives, Isu was waiting to kill David, Jacob, but Jacob did not give a word. He started leaving, brother and sister. Everyone is not blessed because we cannot misuse the Father in heaven. We cannot crib about the Father in heaven. And always Lord's lens his hands for us to uplift but if you and me crib and complain even if lord is stretching his hands we say hands are very short brother and sister you will be blessed you will be victorious be like david and jacob all the challenges we know the situation sinners cannot rule righteous people keep it in that mind and righteous people if they listen what lord is telling and executing what lord is telling in faith and action, they will be never be poor. They will shine. They will shine. And that is where scripture says, Isaiah 9 verses 2. People who walked in the darkness have seen great light. They lived in the land of shadow. But now light is shining on them and brother and sister. Go courageously what Lord is telling. Lord will talk to you. Lord is talking to you. Do only what Lord is telling, even if it is wrong, you will come back to the track, brother and sister. Experience eternal God. Experience living God. Trust Jesus. He is merciful. He is merciful, brother and sister. Lord is waiting. 
Lord has spoken to you. Execute without delaying. You will be successful. Father, all praises to you. Lord, all glory to you. Father, stuti gana mahimi. Yalla ningena pannathu. Yesu namadalli. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.